Okay, so this is a new video which is an elaboration on a previous video, a number of previous videos actually, where I touched upon this question of magnetism, uh, magnetic spin structures more, ac more specifically, and um, different magnetic spin structures in relative to male, males and females. Now, um, what's interesting is I was doing another drawing and I just decided to take the smaller drawing that I had done and elaborate it a little bit better. But what this is called is male-female magnetic spin structure mirroring. And the basic concept is that the magnetic spin structures of males and females are mirror images. I'm not saying that this is an absolute thing, but generally that this is true. Now, the magnetic spin structures of human beings, from what I can gather at this point, is that they're based on six primary magnetic spins, three north and three south. So, here you have the female uh, basic magnetic spin structure and the male uh, basic magnetic st spin structure. And you see you have these three north, three south. And with the female, you have three north, three south and six primary spins and, and what that the, the top two spins uh, magnetic spins are the the head the top two I mean the next two are the chest and then then the the final one uh, two are the pelvis re pelvic region so what you have here is if you look at these two if you look at them what you see is they're mirror images all the way down the the right arm of the male is south the left arm of the female is south and that's because of the orientation of their spins that the and and also if you if you look at the right leg of the male and the left leg of the female they're each south and then of course the uh the same principle with the the other you know the uh left arm of the male the right arm of the female are both north and then the left leg of the male and the right leg of the female are north but also throughout the whole structure they're mirror images so um, what's important about this is it, is it suggests an actual physical or material basis underlying just our, our basic form which is magnetic which would um, our magnetic spin structures being the reason that males and females are complementary because we actually literally magnetically mirror each other with our north and south magnetic spins and as you can see in the female the, the way that the north and south magnetic spins flow they would account for uh, the development of breasts as well as the development of the larger pelvis hips and so on in the male the the he with the male the same kind of spin structure is in the region of the head and it accounts for the larger brain size and of course the other kind of spin structure is is accounts for the smaller kind of hips pelvis the flatter chest as well as the smaller brain size in the female so you can see here very clearly um, the outlines of how you can describe the physical structure through magnetic spin structure now I think the important thing to recognize though is that this doesn't mean that we're that this is the whole story the whole picture of uh, magnetic spin structures and that you know this kind of naive notion you know can't we all get along kind of thing of male and female there's there's probably a lot more to it there's a lot of other questions that um, that people know from experience that maybe we can find answers through variations in magnetic spin structures but the basic thing is that males and females complement each other precisely because they have complementary, <coughs> essentially mirror image magnetic spin structures. Now, I've, I've made a number of other videos where I touched on these ideas and where I um, also, um, I did a video called Astrology and Magnetism. I and where I kind of suggested that maybe the the actual the the whole thing of astrology is based on mag magnetic forces um, 
creating very precise magnetic uh, spin structures at the point of conception, birth, you know, human development, growth, etc. Um, so that's one thing to consider. The other thing to consider is these, these uh, more ancient systems and, and even a modern version, the Ayurveda system of the, the three human types, the Kapha, Pitta, and Vata. And then the this same kind of concept is 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 was stated again in the psychological top types of the mesomorph, the endomorph, and the echo ec, echomorph. I don't know if I said that right, but anyway, basically, the the point I'm getting at is there's a lot of questions as to precisely all the different variations in magnetic spin structures. There's a few questions that wouldn't automatically be readily amenable to this, such as, you know, variations in sexual orientation and so on. Why, if if a male has the a certain uh, spin structure, why would they be homosexual? Or if a female has a certain spin structure, why would they be lesbian? So there are other questions to be asked, and... and um, Maybe we can find the answers to all of these questions by actually understanding magnetic spin structures and we can eliminate all of these erroneous questions like, well, is it genetics? Is it this? Is it that? Well, if it's magnetic spin structure, then guess what? That's precisely how they're meant to be. And there's no amount of trying to change it from outside that's going to change it because it's based on magnetic forces. So when... Uh, feminism tries to ch change men that's as, as as insane as any kind of you know culture or society trying to change women um, from what they fundamentally are likewise um, if if things like sexual orientation are based on magnetic spin structures then you're not going to change them from the outside so there's no point trying to so um yeah, this this could if if these kind of theories are correct, they can actually resolve a whole range of problems without um be, through science rather than speculation. So, here we are. Thanks.